Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm on a new camera and it literally feels so weird. Like, it looks completely different. And so I started this video on my old camera, which is now my old camera, wasn't at the time. I started, yeah, I started on my old camera, so you might see it change. You probably won't even notice, but, um, and it broke. Yeah, it broke. So I've actually gone back to the Canon and it kind of feels like going home. It feels really weird, but um, I'm back on the Canon. But this video is going to be my, not all of it, because I'm not finished. I feel like it's such a, well, it's a long, you know, it's, it's time consuming and it takes a long time. We're so nearly there with most of the rooms. I haven't started our bedroom yet, so mine and Jordan's bedroom. That is just, yeah nothing at the moment um i've done the kids bedrooms however i still want to do a few more bits in there but i'll kind of show you that at the end and we are really nearly there on the kitchen as well but not fully done yet so i'm going to save that for like its own video so this is just me getting started basically on the makeover of our mobile home so let's get going and let's rewind to last week so I do apologise for the state of this, but um, I am in DIY mode for the next few days because we need to get in here, we need to get out of the house. So I thought I'd show you the update and just film some of the process of us making this pretty, I guess is the word. I was going to say habitable, but it's already habitable. We just wanted to um, give a bit of a glow up make it feel like a nice environment to live in because I really feel like it's really important and I know that because after living in that house it's not the nicest environment and it it does really have an impact I think on you so yeah I wanted this to be a nice environment so that's what I'm doing so this is what it looks like at the moment oh stuff everywhere but do you know what there's actually so much progress that has happened um, if you've watched my before tour, you will see that a lot of stuff has been painted. So that's what I've been doing mainly. And yeah, here is all of the progress. So we have the kitchen worktops here, which are going in hopefully today. And then there is the kitchen over there. We have new handles on the kitchen. I've just waited for the next order to arrive. But yeah, we are replacing those worktops, which I think will look really good. We're having a new sink put in as well and changing a lot. We're changing this mirror, so this will be gone. We're changing all that there. So I need, I really need to go to Ikea to get some new lights. That is on my to-do list. And then we have been painting the kids' bedrooms. So this is something that obviously needs finishing off. So we're doing one half white and then the bottom half is going to be a colour. So Jordan has actually been in here and been doing most of the painting in here and he's just really good at getting the paint on basically really quickly and I'm better at doing like the little bits so I'm going to go around all the edges and that today and just freshen it up a bit. And then the same in this room so I've had to pull this had like a um, decorative knob on and um I've pulled it off and I need to sand it and then paint over it and there's a little nail in there that needs to come out as well. So yeah, I am just going to be going over the little bits right now and um, freshening it up. That needs to be painted up there as well. I'm also recovering all the headboards so I will film all of that. So yeah, this is the progress as to where we are up to. So I have my masking tape and I am going to tape up like the carpet and down the floor so um, I can paint the bottom without getting paint on the carpet because it's actually a nice carpet and I don't want to ruin it. So that's what I'm going to do first. <laughs> No, no. 
our body language Working on our body language Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel I'm just trying to keep it real Let me love you on the inside Love you on the inside Tell me exactly what you mean You mean everything to me Let me love you on the inside Okay, so we are now ready to add some colour. So for the girls' bedroom, I'm going for a lilac and I have drawn a line all the way around the wall with a level. So I'm hoping this is gonna work out. Um, let's get started. So before I actually get painting, I'm gonna do the scallops on the wall. So I'm using a paper plate, not a paper plate, plastic plate, I should be using a paper plate because apparently it's much easier, but I don't have one. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm just using a plastic plate and I'm drawing scallops on the wall. I think it's such a lovely, like, decorative idea. I'm hoping it works out well because the scallops are going to be done freehand. <laughs> but do you know what? I reckon I can pull it off. Leaving me on the spot so confused Oh baby Tasting so sweet, acting so rude Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do Yeah High and low, in between Acting out, make a scene Working on our body language Working on our body language Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel So while I'm painting, yeah. Jordan is removing these those delightful work tops. Oh yeah, <laughs> love it. It's got like glue on it. I know it's oh, got a horrible oh, texture, and um, they are being replaced with these beauties. So they're gonna go all the way on here. <laughs> happy with how the girls room is turning out so there's a couple of little patchy bits I need to do so that was where the mirror was we've taken it down so I'm just gonna wait for that but it's looking so good it will need another coat just in some places but I'll be able to just come in and touch it up with a paintbrush and I have taped up the boys room so the boys room I'm doing half white and then half like a sage color I want to say um, so I've taped it up and I'm a bit nervous, but um, I'm hoping for the best in here. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. I wanna laugh out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder.
Okay, so now I'm gonna show you where we are at with the kids' bedrooms and a few more bits I wanna do. I'm desperate for an Ikea trip. I actually wanted to go today, but um, I didn't go, so here I am. I think we're hopefully gonna go this week at some point, if not definitely next week. Probably not actually because it's Easter holiday, so we either go before the kids break up or wait until they're back at school because taking four kids around Ikea, don't know how that would go. Um, but yeah, let me show you where we're at with the kids' rooms. Okay, so if we start in the girls' bedroom now, it, do you know what? <laughs> They've got their bed guards on, okay? And they are a pain to get on and off. So they are the under mattress bed guards and they are so good, but they're a pain to get on and off. So I'm not gonna take them off for this video, but I did get some pictures without the bed guards on that I will insert. So I do like a before and after, but I just absolutely adore this transformation. So the scallops turned out so well. And um, there's a couple of bits I need to touch up like that little bit there but it's not perfect and not a painter and decorator but I'm actually really impressed with how it turned out I need to uh, pot those plants they're just kind of living in there at the moment but I'm going to pot them properly um, all these cupboards are actually empty and um, I can't wait to fill them but yeah this is like the start I guess and I have some other stuff as well that's to go up in here which I'll show you in a second this is their wardrobe so touching up needs to be done but how cute if i go this side you can see it better how cute is this handle i just love it um yeah i got it from zara home and then it just opens up into their wardrobe and in their wardrobe i got these space saving hangers which are from amazon and i can't believe i haven't discovered them before because they are just a game changer and here's a couple of extra bits I've got for the girls' room, which I cannot put up myself. Like, I'm not even going to attempt it. I'm going to get Jordan to do it. But how sweet is that? That little um, shelf. And then this, which is so cute. And these are all stuff that I can take as well when we move back into the house. So everything that I've got, I'll be able to take, like, all the cushions, that gorgeous rainbow. I've got some prints as well to go up. So I'm going to get them up. I also want to get a bookshelf from Ikea. And I'm going to put something there so they can have all their books there. And yeah, I just want this to be a really cute space for them. And then I've got all under the bed for under bed storage. And then if we go into the boys room, which has obviously been well used by the boys. So I haven't put all of their clothes in here yet. And um, I was making the bed this morning and this fell off. So... I need Jordan to put it back properly because obviously the way I did it was not good enough. So I'm going to get Jordan to do that. But um, I'll insert some before and after pictures in here now just because it's probably easier to see it that way. But I just completely adore this room. It's so nice and um, got the white handle against the green which looks so lovely. I will leave all of the exact paint shades and all of that linked below. Uh, the top I used Dulux and the bottom I used Valspar. I can't remember the exact colour. I know it's Asian something, but yeah, I'll leave it all linked below. And then Jensen is happy because he has a TV in here with his Xbox on. So he's been chatting to his friends on his headset, but um, yeah, he's happy with that. He's home just in time. Aren't you, love? Yes. Yeah. You're going to regret I should just stay out. <laughs> <laughs> so I've hung that up there. I'm going to get some bags to hang off it. I just don't think you can have enough storage in kids' rooms. And then this is going to have some cute little books on. Lovely. And then I'm going to put the IKEA bookshelves on there. Okay, that's good idea. Um, you could get little storage things like that. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, well, and behind you. Yeah, not there. Yeah, don't that's worry, love. Right. I got it all. Uh, what's the word? Got it all planned. All planned, lovely. What do you think of the kids' bedrooms? Absolutely love it. I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> if I was a little girl, this would be perfect. Do you like my little plants? Yes, love the little plants. I love, what are these? The scallops. The scallops, okay. And the colour, I love the colour. 
So nice, isn't it? Very nice, very nice, aren't they? If you were in charge, what would you have done in here? I'd have had to go on Pinterest <laughs> and then save my favourites. Yeah, to be fair, Pinterest is so good, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. This is big, just go on Pinterest. Do you know what? I'm going to put it on Pinterest. Yeah, yeah. Good idea. Yeah. So I now want to focus and get the whole thing done and then I can relax a bit hopefully. But um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.